Welcome to Red in Motion. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory Cell and Molecular Biology. Here, we discuss ZMP-STE24 regulates SARS-CoV-2 spike protein-enhanced expression of endothelial PI-1 by researchers from the USA and China. Many patients with COVID-19 develop venous and arterial thrombi. Although endothelial dysfunction is known to be involved in these thrombotic events, the underlying molecular mechanisms are unclear. Interestingly, patients with severe COVID-19 show high levels of the protein PI-1, which activates coagulation pathways and is an early marker of endothelial dysfunction. Hoping to identify potential therapeutic targets for COVID-19, researchers from the USA and China attempted to elucidate the mechanisms causing PI-1 elevations in patients with COVID-19. They exposed human pulmonary microvascular endothelial cells, or HPMECs, to spike proteins purified from recombinant SARS-CoV-2 virions and found a robust increase in PI-1 production in these cells. However, when protein degradation was inhibited using bortezomib, PI-1 production was suppressed and the transcription factor KLF2, an inhibitor of PI-1 expression, was upregulated. Given the link between age and comorbidities with increased COVID-19-related mortality and morbidity, the researchers next examined whether the spike protein-mediated increase in PI-1 was dependent on ZMP-STE24, a metalloprotease involved in defense against RNA viruses that shows decreased levels in older individuals and people with metabolic syndrome. Indeed, ZMP-STE24 overexpression attenuated PI-1 levels in spike protein-exposed HPMECs and appeared to downregulate ACE2 receptors, which are crucial for SARS-CoV-2 entry into host cells. Hence, decreased ZMP-STE24 levels may increase vulnerability to vascular endothelial injury in COVID-19 via a PI-1-dependent central mechanism that causes endothelial dysfunction and increased morbidity. Therefore, therapies targeting PI-1 could be useful for COVID-19 treatment. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Han and Dr. Pandey. Thank you for watching Red in Motion.